It's six o'clock at night. It's very dark at six o'clock at night, so hopefully not a lot of kids playing out there in the streets, but it is only six o'clock at night. Uh, people are coming home, perhaps even taking the dog out for a walk at this hour. So it's always scary to see something like this on surface streets, Kevin. Yeah, it's dark, definitely, uh, with the time change here. And, but people are still out, so that mm -hmm. makes it a lot more dangerous here as we uh, move on here. Once again, still a very highly uh, residential area, but luckily we haven't seen a lot of people out. We haven't seen a lot of cars in this residential area. Now some cross traffic as we come up to Vermont, now making a southbound turn Whoa. onto Vermont. Just missed that car, car there. right there. Just missed Just it. missed that car, and, then, and he started tailgating. He's kind of tailgating that one car now that car is getting out of the way. Yeah. And you got some traffic up ahead as they slow down. <clears throat> now the speed's picking up once again, getting up to 40 miles an hour here. Vermont here in this area is still a very, not really a, a six lane highway. We've got um, four lanes going southbound and four lanes northbound here. Um, but it does tighten up as we go farther to the south. So, and, and Kevin, it looks like it, that there's some damage to the right rear tire when we look closer. It, it looks like there may be. <clears throat> I haven't heard if they've hit this with uh, spike strips. I don't think they've had the opportunity to do so. So that may have come about by some damage um, sideswiping one of those other vehicles. Might be 